Hey, good morning guys. Um, so one of the premises of gaslighting is to make a person think that they're crazy. For example, you put, um, you put an umbrella in a corner and it's sitting there for a week and then you remove the umbrella and another person says, where did that umbrella go? And you say, what umbrella? There was never an umbrella there. Like, what are you talking about? Um, so the current gaslighting situation that we're facing, that our government is um, conducting on the population, is letting people think that uh, doubting election integrity makes them crazy. So they've been conditioning people to think that, um, you know, even questioning election results uh, means that you're unhinged, you know, um, and this is why they came out with the term election deniers. Like, they're all about their fucking terms. They're all about those terms, you know, like uh, conspiracy theorists, um, you know, which they're not to be just people who were curious about things, you know, and were discovering a little, little too much. So the government created the term conspiracy, and labeled anybody who was doing their research on those conspiracies, uh, conspiracy theorists and crazy and unhinged. Uh, so, you know, you know, so with the current elections, even with proof, you know, there were several people that were caught cheating on the ele elections, um, you know, in Arizona, there are faulty voting machines that were, uh, pretty much deemed out of service and people were sent to vote elsewhere. Uh, there were people, you know, caught on camera stuffing ballots in bags. And gaslighting, you know, gaslighting just means that you are crazy for questioning on any of those things. You know, just like the condition to, uh, to, um, they condition people to think that anybody who is a Trump supporter is a white supremacist, even minorities, you know. So anybody wearing a MAGA hat, be they white or black or Hispanic or Asian, were automatically lumped in a group. And elections, it is everybody's constitutional right to question election integrity if it is if something suspicious is going on and there's if there's a sign that there can be some malicious intent so don't you know don't be ashamed to admit in public that you think elections were rigged unfair because i'm already starting to see um signs of fraud and i'm not just saying this because i'm not pleased with the results i'm saying this because i literally read articles about people being arrested for doing, conducting illegal activities, you know, featuring ballots or mailing them in or getting extra ballots. Um, so yeah, it is everybody's absolute right to question the results of the elections. Don't let people gaslight you into thinking you're crazy because you're not. You're not crazy. It is happening. You know, there were so many instances in the past where people were accused of being crazy and that the truth was revealed that things were happening and you weren't crazy. Uh, so, yeah, this is just my two cents and I will talk to you later. Bye.